Youth Runner Magazine here with Simon Barlow of Bountiful Utah. Won the Blue Varsity B race here at the Woodbridge Invitational. 14.39 was your time. Uh, I understand this is your first time here, right, competing here? Yes. You're a senior, but so what were you expecting? You're used to running at altitude. Yeah. Um, it's a very flat course. It's also a night course. Uh, have you, I mean, a night meet. Have you run a night meet I've only, before? I've only run under night for track and field, so it's really cool. Right. The atmosphere is crazy at night. It makes it a really fun thing. and. Just, Kind so, of a little more enjoyable running around. But your normal preparation is you're going to be running like morning meets. So how does your preparation compare to a, what you normally do for a cross country meet? Yeah. So what I tried to do was I would do a couple runs at night, just trying to get my body used to that, and then I could also get my diet in place going up to the race and things. And so definitely running at night, even even for my easy runs, helped me kind of just prepare for that mentally. Well, it looks like your diet was okay because I don't see you throwing up or anything. So that's that's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, take us through the race. It looked like, uh, I think at the, you had the lead certainly at the two mile mark, I think, right? Yeah, I had the lead from the mile as well. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. So is, is that your, your strategy? I'm sure there's a lot of guys in there you didn't know. Yeah. So you're just like, I, I want to be out in front. I don't want to get stuck behind anyone or? Yeah. So I, I knew coming into the race that I was in a little slower of a race compared to like the sweep six and things. And so I definitely wanted to take it out fast and try and establish myself and then be in that top five ten at the mile so I could work my way up and yeah, I just happened to be in first coming through the mile and the two mile and so I kind of just pushed and tried to hold that lead all the way through. What do you hope this race does for you going forward? I, I'm guessing are most of your races in Utah at, at, at yeah, least so my, at Hillier at least, right? Yeah, yeah. so my, my next race is uh, in Bob Furman, so in Idaho, uh, but then the rest of my race has been Utah until after state. Um, so yeah, most of our, our state course is pretty hilly, and so yeah. this one I had to do a little bit more speed prep for and less hills and things, but yeah. So does this race like help you for your maybe your kick at the end of races, or I mean, what what how does this help you? Do you think down down the line? Yeah. This is a completely different course. Yeah, it definitely gives me a lot of confidence. It's kind of what helps me in um, able. I'm able to like now go into Bob Furman in the state and just being able to know that I can run a quick pace. I'm finished fast off a quick pace. I've struggled with that, and so I've tried to really improve that, and that gives me a ton of confidence in a lot of different aspects. All right, thank you, Simon. Appreciate it.